there. <laughs> Come on in and have a seat. This is quite a big group we have here today. Welcome to the new higher orientation. My name is Smelly. Steve Smelly. Now don't you all get it twisted with my last name. It originated from my ancestors from over in Scotland. Over there, the surname defines people who have a nice smile or happy personality. For this phase of your onboarding process, I was asked by the store manager to explain how we work with your teams. I've been employed at the Fashion Spirit Department store for 21 years. Can anyone guess my job title for loss prevention? I have a gift for anyone who knows. I am a security guard. Not security officer, security guard. Our cleaners are not called custodians, they are called janitors. Our employer prefers oppressive job titles. They want us essential workers to feel expendable. Well, to those who guessed my job title correctly, you can go to the Fashion Sphere website and print out your $1 coupon gift. As a member of Laws Prevention, I help deter theft and maintain a safe business environment. While I went to the store for eight hours looking handsome, I report suspicious activity to my team with this trusty radio. Observe and report. That's it. That's all I do. I do not chase or detain shoplifters. <laughs> with this arthritis, it wouldn't do me good anyway. Now, don't shoot the messenger here. This grateful store location is understaffed. None of you are guaranteed a day off. We have seven days in a week, right? Well, your manager will have you slaving on five of those days, minus the holidays without pay. What do you think happens on the two other days you are not scheduled to work? My friends, you are on standby. You are required to call your manager at a designated time. You must find out if you are to come to work. Most of the time you'll be told to get in here. In our business, associates get fired for one of two reasons. Non-compliance or for being... Dishonest. I'm going to relate to you my own experience about dishonesty. It had a profound impact on my life. I never saw it coming. It changed me. I call it a moment of self-discovery. I hope my story can help you avoid temptation. It happened a year ago. It was a heat wave of a Monday morning. Inside the Bay Street Diner, I'm sitting across the table from my beautiful daughter, Holly. She has a striking resemblance to my late wife, Sabrina, who died of lung cancer 18 years ago. Rather than eat her bacon, her Bible is flipped open. Dad, do you remember this verse from church yesterday? Proverbs 25, 28. Whoever has no rule over his spirit, is like a city broken down without walls. A person without self-control is just that. Control your thoughts. Don't let your thoughts control you. Holly, if you're not going to eat that bacon, I'll gladly go T-Rex on it. That is precisely what this verse means. You've been staring at my plate for five minutes. You are lacking self-control. The message in Proverbs warns us to be careful. A city without walls has nothing to do with my stomach. Now are you going to eat that bacon or what? Then my phone starts buzzing in my pocket. I saw the lit name of my best friend, Gus Ghetto. I was very proud of that man. Gus, I knew you weren't going to finish your last week. Tell me you didn't give Mr. Shivers the finger on your way out the door. You never know if you need to come back someday. A righteous man should never burn bridges. Very funny, Steve. Very funny. You know I'm an atheist. Look, don't worry. I will finish my last week on a positive note. Listen, I called to warn you. 
There's no one on duty in the loss prevention department. Say what? Mr. Colston will call you to come into work. Whatever you do, do not answer your phone. No, 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 no. I, I talked to Mr. Colston an hour ago. He said I'm a free man. What do you mean no one's on duty? You'll find out soon enough. Just don't answer your phone, okay? Better yet, turn it off. You won't get in trouble. Store policy requires you to call in only once. And if a manager excuses you, that decision cannot be reversed. For once, leave that bastard coast on high and dry. Wait a minute. Did Randy and Carla get fired for stealing? Just like what happened to Lori for stealing those flat screen TVs for her boyfriend? <laughs> Steve, your old manager was so stupid. Look, I have to go. Just enjoy your day off. Forget about Cold Stone. Forget about this place. We'll talk later, okay? Bye.